I showed him who's boss, that's for sure. Now, this isn't the one that gave us a bit of hassle earlier on. This is the first elephant we saw, the younger one. Even he is hanging back and steering clear. Now, there, it turned out there was an even larger elephant bull too, hiding amongst the leaves. But he's come out and him and the naughty bull have walked off in the opposite direction. Now, I'm just watching that they're not going to sneak back up towards us because that won't be fun. I'm not really worried about this youngster. He hasn't shown us any aggressive signs at all. And like I said, I think he's also just trying to stay out of trouble. That first elephant does just have a bad attitude. And hopefully next time he's with vehicles, he won't react like that because that would give anybody a heart attack. Now, Jordan, you're wondering if I can tell the difference between a mock charge and a real one. Most certainly, it's pretty easy. That elephant, what he was doing, he was really just trying to intimidate us. But like I said to you, he wasn't going to stop. He would have come right up to the car because he actually started running when I turned the car on. And he was coming towards us. So I didn't want to get myself into a situation where he was standing over the car. Because I feel as though if you get yourself in a spot like that, very tricky to get out of, especially if he just turns and goes, you know what, I've actually had enough of you now. So I made the decision to move away and rather use my voice. I, I would have preferred to have banged on the side of my door, but I don't have a side door because the sound of metal well, is not something that is found out in nature and it intimidates the animals quite easily. Uh, you can see he's obviously been shouted at quite a few times because he really didn't respond to my voice at all. So I reckon many of the guides in the sands have probably done that. But this fella is lovely. He's really sweet. He's got a lovely nature about him. Maybe there's an underlying problem with the elephant that we don't know. Maybe he's had bad experiences with cars and he's just decided, I don't trust you lot. You need to earn my respect. Well, you know, respect comes from both sides. You can't just approach me. It was like the equivalent of somebody walking down the street and then running towards you and then also reaching into their jacket. Of course, you panic straight away and you naturally want to act defensive. But he's moved on now. I shouted at him once more and then they disappeared and they walked off in the drainage line. So thank goodness for that. We'll see what this fella. I didn't want to have any trouble with him. And remember, Elephants are the animal that you need to be very, very careful of. They're the only ones that can tip the car over. And situations get very, very So you need to have respect and just have your earth that you don't get yourself stuck in a situation. So rather always err on the side of caution. Now, there might have been some guides that wouldn't have agreed with what I did. They could have maybe, well, maybe sat there. But like I said, I didn't want to be less than a, closer than a, a, a meter to him because then I was stuck. You saw I had to actually turn around. It would have been quite difficult to have reversed over the damn wall. I wouldn't have felt very comfortable in doing that. But this fella is having a great time. He's gone finally. I'm left to the entire dam all by myself. <laughs> Sonia, you say that this elephant looks like he's pretending to be busy. I think he's having just as much fun now. What I'm going to do is, Craig, let's reposition slightly. I'm going to go down and we'll look at him on the other side. Now there's a road that runs all the way down. We've actually had a couple of sightings. Tingana was here the other day, well the other day, maybe a week ago, because this Ellie has a swim. It's quite nice to watch him. We can also see how deep the water is now too. Hello boy. Isn't that so beautiful? Now I hope he doesn't go around the corner. Hopefully he stays out here. So there we go, he's not quite in the center of the dam. That is probably about, I'd say a meter and a half deep or so. So what's that? Four, f between, f yeah, about four and five foot, somewhere around there. They're not very deep. He'd have to roll around if he wanted to completely cover his body. I think he's done now though. He just thought he'd quickly wade through the water. Great way to keep yourself nice and cool. Now that's the side that he came from. He's actually, he's going out the same way he came down when we saw him in the beginning. And look how easily he walks up that steep embankment too. Elephants don't need 4x4. Four four. They've got natural 4x4 four four tread underneath their feet. It allows them to go up many different substrates. And so much power in their shoulders and in their hindquarter. It's as if they've engaged diff lock and can quite comfortably move up a steep hill like that. He's having a great day, isn't he? He must be feeling quite happy. But now you can see the water level. See how it's just underneath his tail? That just shows you how deep that water is. Yeah, I'd say about a meter and a half. 
maybe actually a little bit more, maybe closer to two meters. Just thinking if I were to stand next to him, he's not, he's not big though, he's not big like that other bull that we saw. He's slightly smaller, somewhere around there. But I give or take, and off he goes behind the bushes. That was quite nice, at least we got our elephant fixed. Hopefully it's not the, the last elephant fix for the day.